after that long run as Heather was giving her report and he was needless to say pretty fired up with his secondary for not sealing that edge and allowing Erickson to get to the outside you know Nick has been and sometimes he's tougher in these kind of games coaching when he's up by 25 with seven minutes to go than the games that are close yeah, that's a great point he will never stop coaching deal work in the middle inside of seven minutes to go and what is uh, Paul Christie think trying to accomplish here the lead obviously out of hand but what is he trying to build as the Badgers go into a Big Ten schedule which is frankly very soft they'll be favored in almost if not all of their games going forward exactly I mean go go down their schedule and we will here shortly and try to find a game where you'd, you'd expect him to be an underdog there might be one maybe we'll, we'll have to take a close look at it but I I mean, that kind of gives you an idea of, of what they have left to do. As, as I said, it's a team that many people think will get to Indianapolis and play in a Big Ten championship game. They need three on third down, and Stavi flips it short. Catch made, and that's Ogunbowale's getting free for but a first down. To answer your question about if you're Paul Chris and you're a first-year head coach and you've been here as an offensive coordinator, but this is your first year back in Madison and you're the head coach and you're down 35 to 10, it's the first game of the year and as bad as this feels you want to see who's a foxhole guy You, you really are you gonna learn a lot about who's gonna quit who's gonna fight who how does a team respond? Because the eye in the sky the film when you break it down it, it's gonna tell you everything Stavi Rowan fires short Erickson makes our excuse me Ogun uh, deal makes the catch and he's muscled out Cassidy Thanks, Chris. Arkansas State taking on number eight USC and Cody Kessler picking up where he left off last season. A 61 yard TD pass to Juju Smith Schuster. USC up seven nothing. Chris, back to you. Pac 12 could use some good news. Arizona State beaten tonight by AM, one of the few Pac 12 SEC collisions you get to see. Stavi files far side and the catch is made. It's Jazz Peavy, a sophomore, making his first catch of the night inside the 15. Well, there's the arm strength and, and what the coaches really like about Stavi. To think that Joel Stavi last year was just trying to kind of be able to complete a pass five or ten yards downfield. And now look at that throw. I mean, you're here, you're at the right hash, and you're throwing about a 15 to 18 yard outcut. Towards the boundary, plenty of arm from Joel Stavi. Stavi for the end zone. Heavy traffic as Wheelwright was covered in a flag. Now that was Minka Fitzpatrick with him, and it'll be interference. Again, it's about not getting his head turned around and having a chance to play the ball. If you don't play the ball, it's going to again, it's going to be pass interference. Pass interference, number 29, defense. Ball will be placed it's by the foul. Automatic first down. Watch his head. And it, it, very talented young man, Fitzpatrick. Not only the shove, but he never even found, found the ball. Look at this. Look at this view right here. Uh, pylon Inside cam. The pylon right here. Boom. Uh oh. It can, it can take it, a is beating. It, is it alive? No, it's alive. It's okay. Those are the cameras they put in NASCAR cars. They can take a collision. So first and goal, Stavi across the middle, caught for a touchdown. See, that's what you that's what you that's what you figure out if you're Paul Chris. You're not, you're not gonna come back and win this game, but you like to see your team keep fighting, keep playing to the end of the game. And he just saw that in that drive right there. Rob Wheelwright, the junior out of Columbus. Hmm, they will not stop coaching on that Alabama sideline. That defense gave up the big run to the wide receiver. Pass interference penalty setting up Stavi's second touchdown pass. So Kirk, we have to avoid the temptation to conclude too much from an opening day, but as you said, there are so few chances sometimes for top programs in the power.